I knew there was a dark side to MLMs, multi-level marketing companies. I just didn't realize quite how dark it was. Hey everyone, welcome to Cash Clarity, where we teach you how to use money to get what you want. Today's book is a mixed bag for me. I personally had some issues with this book, and I'm not sure that the author and myself would see eye to eye on a lot of things. Normally, the books that I review on my channel have to do with personal finance. Hey Hun by Emily Paulson is not a personal finance book, but I wanted to review it because of how prevalent MLMs are within the personal finance space. One of the big issues in personal finance is the idea that more money will fix everything, and if you just made more money, all of your problems will be solved. MLMs have taken advantage of this message, posing as a good path and solution for you to get more money and to fix all of your problems. Takeaway number one, MLMs are predatory and any amount of success had with an MLM is at the expense of others. To climb their ladder, you must take advantage of a person's loneliness, their desire to fit in and belong somewhere, or their desire to change their financial circumstances, and their belief in your reassurance that they will one day make money too if they just work hard enough, sacrifice enough, and believe enough. Takeaway number two. MLMs are kept purposely convoluted and non-concrete. This is a method picked up from cults and it constantly keeps the focus on the individual, making it about their shortcomings and their inability to perform. This is done so that when the individual fails, which happens to almost everyone in an MLM, they have only themselves to blame. When those individuals start asking questions about how they can do better or how they can succeed, they are given quasi-advice and pseudoscience with no real metric or ability to improve. This type of environment drives the individual to hold on desperately to their leader's words and advice, which inevitably is to give more time and money to the company. Takeaway number three, the predominant victim of MLMs are stay-at-home moms and females in a vulnerable position who need community and help. Knowing this, MLMs pose as the resource for all of their needs. They say that they offer community, mentorship, friendship, support, camaraderie, fun, adventure, and the ability to make money. Unfortunately, this is not an authentic community because it's based on performance. Almost everyone who joins an MLM will also end up losing a lot of money. False relationships and community based on performance means that your relationships are contingent on your work and your willingness to be exploited. If you don't pay to play, you will be cut off and shunned. This book details just how depraved the inner workings of an MLM are from a rare one percenter who actually made it big. Actively stealing money from lower level members while falsely promising that one day they will get a chance to make money too, full well knowing that day will never come, is the disgusting reality of these types of organizations. It was hard for me to read this book and not think about how the author actively took advantage of so many people for so many years only to get out financially ahead. With that said, there were parts of this book that felt like a genuine apology and I hope that this book could help free people who are currently trapped in an MLM. What do you think about this book if you read it? Let me know in the comments below. If you are currently in an MLM or are thinking about getting into one because of the promise of wealth, would you please consider watching this video right here? It's free and I talk about how to grow wealth just through basic personal finance steps of saving, budgeting, and intentionally spending. Things you are all able to do without being scammed.